Welcome to JNUC 2021. We sure hope you're enjoying all the great sessions so far. This session will be a managed app config spotlight on the SpinSafe browser application from one of our JAMF partners, National Education Technology. The SpinSafe integration can be found on the JAMF marketplace at marketplace.jamf.com. For those of you who I have not had the pleasure of meeting before, my name is Adam Derrick. I'm a field sales engineer covering the Mid-Atlantic and Southeast here at Jamf, and I assist prospective and current customers with any technical hurdles within their Apple environments and help to develop creative solutions tailored towards their needs. Prior to working at Jamf, I've been supporting Apple devices in the enterprise, healthcare, and higher education sectors for the last 14 years. This session couldn't be possible without the assistance of all of our fabulous presenters. Hi, I'm Justin Payer, co-founder of National Education Technologies. I spent uh, over a decade in K-12 uh, as a sales leader, primarily in enterprise software sales. Uh, for the past six years, totally pivoted. I've been battling the constant love and hate relationship with technology uh, by helping parents teach their kids about a balanced and safe approach to using mobile technology, so smartphones, tablets, etc. So I'm quite excited today to actually share our Spin Safe browser story and also how it can help keep your organization's users safe online and minimize the risk to your organization leveraging, leveraging app config. Perfect. I'm uh... Hi, everybody. I'm Justin Betker. I've been, around, been at Jamf for around six years. Um, I am a commercial sales engineer here at Jamf, mostly working with uh, small to medium-sized uh, business customers. Hi, my name is Matthew Weilbacher, and I'm an education sales engineer at Jamf. Uh, I currently work with current customers and potential customers. Before this, I worked at Zuladesk and Apple, supporting education customers. So for today's agenda, we'll talk about Manage App Config in both Jamf Pro and Jamf School, how App Config helps, along with one of our featured partners, National Education Technology, and their nifty application, the SpinSafe Browser. This session will also provide an overview of the features of SpinSafe Browser, as well as some examples in education, retail, and healthcare. So for anybody who's not familiar with Managed App Config, Managed App Config is an open framework. So this is leveraging a framework that Apple has made available to everybody. And what how App Config helps is App Config assists with streamlining uh, setup of applications on your iOS devices. So this allows for a seamless out of the box experience allowing for over-the-air setup, so eliminating any kind of uh, server addresses and, and cover some URLs, or in this case, uh, specific payloads that we're gonna be pushing down. For more information on managed app config, check out the app config community at appconfig.org, as well as the Jamf marketplace, marketplace.jamf.com. Next, we will have Justin Payer, the co-founder from National Education Technologies, talk to you more about his application. Thanks, Adam. Uh, on the next few slides, we're going to show you some of the key features and benefits of SpinSafe Browser, plus what we've been able to do by using App Config. Then the actual team that we have on the call today or the presentation is going to show us some real-world scenarios and how Spin and App Config can be fully managed and control the browsing experience from our safe browsing uh, app. But first, I want to start a bit with the story. And this is something that's quite of a passionate entrepreneurial story around how Spin Safe Browser came to be. We originally created the browser to help and augment our parental control app, Boomerang. And what we found within the first few months is many of our downloads were actually coming from adult users. These adult users were quite unique. They were protecting themselves in a safe browsing environment from inappropriate content, from pornography, nudity, and other internet filth that's out there. Uh, sometimes you fall upon it by accident. In some of these cases, these folks were looking for it all the time. They actually had a digital well-being challenge. 
So they found our app and found it to be the perfect solution that blocked a lot of the nuances that's out there. So this is one thing that makes us quite unique is that we are an app. So Spin Browser is actually a mobile app for your iOS devices. So it will work as a native app and a fully contained app. So that's one of the unique things we have uh, today is our community of users has augmented all of this as well. It's not just a robotic process that we look for new websites. We're also getting a user community helping us augment the filter uh, with some of those nuances that simply a robot's not going to find. So the big part, again, is the fact that our browser is fully contained. So you can install on your iPads in your organization, and it will start filtering right away. There's no network tricks required, no DNS redirection or VPN tricks. You simply deploy it with your mobile device management, and our browser is already blocking a set uh, a list of categories we felt are quite you know, balance for a safe browsing. One other aspect of our browsers, you can filter it on any network. So it doesn't require a, a special network connection. So if you're at, at school, at home, at the organization's network, or even the local Starbucks, we're going to filter you in the same exact method, in the same exact way. Now, the default categories we have, we have about seven or eight that are always on. So when you deploy our browser, it's already filtering right off the bat, zero configuration for you. There's actually a, quite a unique category we've added in here, which is called prone to bad content. This is our own category, category. We actually put our own websites based on our community in there. Some examples that fall into this category for our experience are websites like Twitter.com. A lot of the social media platforms do not have a great filtering for in, inappropriate content. So Twitter.com being an example, it has nudity, it has pornography. We simply do not want our users accessing that. Then you have other areas such as Blogspot, WordPress blog sites that will be created by users and host inappropriate content for as long as they don't get caught. So we block those today. Now, typically a browser like, um, like Spin in the past was not able to be set as a default browser in iOS. So thanks to, I, to Apple, iOS 14 last year, our browser is fully supporting of that I, default browser uh, tag. So now Spin can be set as a default browser on iOS so that when your users are tapping on links from an email, from a note app, or what have you, the browser will open in a safe manner into our, our, our spin safe browser. And then, of course, we're going to get into this in a bit, but the browser is fully customizable via app config. And we're going to show you some examples today, such as the following. So here is kind of like a high level set of features that we bring to the table with uh, spin safe browser. Some of these are customizable as well uh, with the app config uh, technology. So the first thing you can use your MDM for is to set the default browser in iOS. There's a few tricks on that. We can share that offline. Next, our browser has Google Safe Search always enabled. So it's in the strictest level that you can set as a user, and the user cannot turn it off. So even if you're logged into your Google account and you go to change it from strict to not off or strict to medium, we will always reset that back to strict. So there's no ways to get around that. And that goes for results, images, news, et cetera, in the Google searches. Now we get into some of the fancy stuff, right? So bookmarks. Uh, one area that a lot of users wanted was, I want to be able to deploy a, a set bookmark list to the browser. So when you open Spin, the bookmarks are set, super easy to do. This could be great for elementary level school or maybe in an organization where you want to kiosk uh, you know, the iPad or what have you with a specific app and specific bookmarks. And then our content filters, as I mentioned, we have a key set of categories of about seven that are enabled by default. We have another 25 plus that you can enable if you wish. Based on your needs for your organization, you can go you know, stricter or pull it back. That's totally up to you, fully customizable. Then we have website controls. So you can allow, block, or only allow specific websites. So that's totally customizable by you via the XML file that uh, the guy's gonna show you in a bit. Then we also have an autocomplete tag. So if you don't want users seeing um, you know, suggestions, I guess is what they're called, when you're typing in the search bar, we can turn those off as well. And that, because some of those sometimes are not always a safe term. So that's why we have that option as on and off. And then lastly, set the home page and new tabs to whatever you wish, your organization to a specific landing page. And uh, the app is available in the App Store today. So on to uh, our next presenter, Adam. Thanks, Justin. As you can see, a lot of great different use cases uh, for the Spin Safe application. Next, we're going to be talking about Jamf School. Not all schools or educators have the same technical needs. That's why we offer two solutions today 
to manage Apple education technology. Jamf School is best for schools with one IT professional or in which devices and computers are managed by teachers or administrators rather than a full IT department. Here's Matthew for a discussion on app config with Jamf School. Thanks, Adam. With Jamf School plus SpinSafe, you will have the ability to set custom scopes uh, that you would like to send to your managed app configurations. With the Jamf app config generator, which will be provided at the end of this presentation, you can rest assured that you will be able to update your custom configuration and deploy it to all desired devices. With the Safe Browser, you can fully customize your browsing experience for your users with App Config. Without delay, here's a demo of customizing the browser experience for a teacher in Jam School. First, we will navigate to the App section in Jam School. Next, we will go to the search bar. And once we find the right app, we will click on the app name. On the far right of the screen, we will select Show Advanced Options and Apply Managed Configuration. Now we can easily make multiple managed configurations. This will give us the options to create different browsing experiences for different end users of the Spin State Browser app. We can create a teacher browsing experience and arm them with all the tools they need for their classes or apply a managed configuration for students that may need different options. As you can see here, I'm making a student preference, and I can easily add their managed configuration later. And I can make a guest can managed configuration as well to apply to newer devices. At this point, uh, we will have the option to set this as the default for newer scopes but I want to actually manually add this to undesired scopes. So let's go and get our uh, managed configuration for our teacher device. We'll open the XML provided to us from the app Jamf Config Generator. Uh, once I do that, I'll open it up. I will select all, and then I'm going to apply that by pasting it and then applying it to the desired managed configuration, in this case, my teachers. So what I'm going to do now, I can also set the default um, but what I want to do, I actually want to apply this to a certain scope. So what I'll do is go over onto the left side of the screen and add my desired device group. Once I do this, I'll be able to go up to the top left and select which uh, managed configuration I would like to apply to my scope. Now I've applied my to my teacher scope here. And once I hit my save, you can see the app will be distributed to the device and the managed configuration will be already set on the device. As you can see here, I have a preset home page and desired browser apps for the teacher. Thank you, Adam. Awesome. Thanks, Matthew, for that great demonstration with Jamf School. Next, we'll be talking about Jamf Pro. Jamf Pro is our flagship product known for its ability to scale, robust management capabilities, and customization. If you're an IT manager, administrator, or technician, Jamf Pro is ideal for you. Jamf Pro can easily handle multiple schools, hospitals, and other enterprise needs. Next, we'll have Justin Becker. He's gonna walk you through Jamf Pro and SpinSafe Browser in the retail and commercial spaces. Perfect. Hi, everyone. My name is Justin. As I said before, I'm a sales engineer here at Jamf. Uh, I work with a lot of SMB, small and medium-sized businesses in the commercial space. Um, I like to start by framing the problem a little bit. Um, some typical pain points that I see Jam Pro admins running into are uh, is when they want to provide some sort of customer facing web page, digital signage, or online form uh, to interface with customers in a kiosk type format. Um, and when admins typically try to solve this, it includes sending out a single app mode configuration uh, profile to a device to lock it into a browser of your choice. I'm going to show you a demo on, on actually how to do that here. Uh, as you can see, I have my Jam Pro instance on uh, the left here. Uh, and on the right side of my screen, I actually have a live iPad. So um, in my Jam Pro instance, I'm actually going to click on the Devices tab. I'm going to click on Configuration Profiles, uh, click New, and give this configuration profile a name, Single App Mode Safari. 
Uh, then I'm going to scroll down and find the single app mode payload and then paste in and specify the specific Safari bundle ID. And you can edit uh, some of the other um, input options below. Before you actually click the save button here in the bottom right corner, um, make sure you do go up into the scope tab uh, and actually choose what targets or devices you want to deploy this to. I'm going to choose all devices here. I'm going to click save. Once that is complete, you can actually see over here on my iPad that Safari will pop up and be locked in that specific browser. One issue, however, is that even if you set a home page with the content you want potential customers to access, nothing prevents the customer from getting distracted and going to a different website. For example, Netflix.com. A solution to this problem uh, includes a, the SpinSafe browser application in single app mode with using app config to customize certain settings and options to allow only the websites and online web forms you want the customer to interface with. What we're going to do is deploy the SpinSafe browser, a configuration profile, and app config all with GF Pro. On the left side of my screen, we're using a configuration profile to lock the SpinSafe browser into single app mode, just like we did earlier with Safari. And on the right side of my screen, you can actually see the SpinSafe browser gets locked into single app mode. Uh, with the power of app config, it also opens to the homepage content I want. Uh, continued here, one um, uh, on the left of my screen here is an example of XML code that I've actually configured in Jamf Pro that controls preferences that I want predefined in the SpinSafe browser. And don't worry if this does look a little bit intimidating. Um, as Matthew said before, there is an app config generator to help build this out. Uh, this particular app configuration includes an allowed list of websites, which locks the customer, uh, in this case, which locks the customer into using um, jamf.com. On the right side of my screen is an iPad, and I actually had somebody uh, try to go to netflix.com, and it's actually getting that denied access pop up to that website. So kind of in closing here, um, this solves a big, big need in the retail and hospitality space to not only lock someone into the browser, but actually keeping them undistracted with the content you intended for that particular device. So kind of in summary, you know, app config, I think is really awesome, but what really gets me fired up about app config is when an app developer, you know, in this case, Justin Payer takes full advantage of app config to create helpful workflows on iOS. Thanks, Justin. Next, we're going to be talking about spin safe in the healthcare industry. As Justin previously mentioned, administrators often struggle with ensuring that devices are locked down, but still able to be productive. What we're going to be taking a look here at here is an iPad that's managed by Jamf Pro that's used to fill out patient intake forms. We're going to have the iPad locked down to only allow access to system settings and the SpinSafe application through our MDM Jamf Pro. So as you can see, the patient is going to be opening up the SpinSafe application. We have our bookmarks being deployed. We're gonna go ahead and open up an intake form and the patient's gonna get, start filling out that intake form. As a former administrator, I often struggle with patients who would get bored and sidetracked and maybe wanna open up their social media uh, or stream something on Netflix or Hulu. That's exactly what this patient uh, is doing here. And as you can see, SpinSafe went ahead and blocked access uh, to netflix.com. Patient's gonna go ahead and open up uh, another intake form. And again, they're gonna go ahead and try to access uh, a website that is being blocked by the content filter that SpinSafe is providing us. Probably about five years ago, I would have loved to know Justin Payer and to have been uh, introduced to this browser because it would have saved me a lot of headaches and a lot of time. 
when I was a Jamf admin. So if you like what you see and you're interested in moving forward and uh, maybe giving the SpinSafe browser a try in your environment, I would highly suggest visiting jamf.it forward slash SpinSafe. That'll take you to a page where you can learn more about the SpinSafe browser, as well as links to the application out on the App Store. If you're interested in learning more about the app config community, as Justin Becker mentioned, we need to get more app developers to adapt to this framework. It's open source. It's made available to everybody. So if you're an app developer, visit appconfig.org to learn more. Or if you have an application that you're struggling to deploy in your environment and you already have an MDM such as Jamf Pro in place, why not head on over uh, to appconfig.org and check out to see what other applications are out there. Additionally, the Jamf Marketplace is a central location uh, for you to go ahead and find, learn about, and use valuable tools that integrate with and extend the Jamf platform, such as the SpinSafe browser. Visit jamf.it forward slash marketplace to learn about other exciting integrations with the Jamf portfolio of products. Additionally, our solution partner program and Jamf developer portal provide the tools uh, such as a Jamf Pro instance or access to support for you to go ahead and develop apps and integrate those applications with our products such as Jamf Pro. Uh, Jamf developer partners also get access to our developer relations team, online training, and the ability to list your app or integration on the Jamf marketplace. Visit developer.jamf.com to learn more about the solution partner program as well as the Jamf developer portal. One thing I did uh, unfortunately leave out on this resources page, but I will be making it available uh, in the handout. Uh, if you wanna head on over to jamf.it forward slash app config generator, that will take you to the app config generator tool that both Justin Payer, Justin Becker and Matthew uh, all mentioned. I wanna take this time to thank everybody for attending and listening to this session, whether it was live or if you're viewing this after uh, the session has aired, we greatly appreciate it. Please share this session with anybody who you might feel uh, interested. Um, if you have any questions, we will be around in the chat and we're looking forward to answering any questions that you have. Additionally, um, just want to throw out there, no matter where in the world you are, be well. Um, hope everybody has a healthy end of the year. Let's get through this pandemic together and uh, looking forward to seeing everybody hopefully in person next year.